Hello everyone. So I heard some of the buzz about this game, Mini Healer. I thought I'd give it a try. Healing is, of course, my preferred role in an MMO. So let's go on and uh, give it. See how this works. First time players, until we at least figure out how the game works, we'll just play on normal. What is. What's you and your party's name? I am Healer. We have a Ranger, a Berserker, and a Tank. That's fine. This must be the ancient vault the villagers were talking about. Once an ancient civilization destroyed by a meteor crash a hundred years ago. The power of the meteor is very strong. It must have twisted the creatures within the vault. We should be careful. Looks like we're not going to get in that easily. Us three will attack the enemies, healer. Keep us alive at all costs. Time's up. Let's do this. I don't have any heal spells. Looks like our tank has taken some damage. Let's heal him up. Select him. Now let's cast our first sp heal. Lesser heal. Hover onto spells to see what they do. So lesser heal, 45 mana cost. A small but effective heal. He's all patched up. That should be all you need to know. Defeat the Bone Knight and venture into the vault. Should I be DPSing? Uh oh, looks like our tank is bleeding. Don't worry, there's a new skill that can help. Renew is a overheal over time. How long is it? Yeah, it's not obvious. It's pretty high there. Victory! For all this victory! Control right click to quickly sell all the item. From gold. In a map of the vault, some parts are missing. So Renew actually is healing pretty damn hard. Nice. Okay. What's this? Looks like a map of this place. Some parts are missing though. There's one place on here that's showing the Hidden Haven. Let's follow this and get there. Welcome to the Hidden Haven. Here you can rest and prepare yourself for your next fight. Visit the Talent Room to learn different talents and masteries. Every time you level up you'll gain a talent point. Achievements, Keeper of the Hidden Haven, Stats. Oh wow, this is really detailed. Wisdom Tomes. Why am I getting insta killed? I'm missing mechanics. We'll figure this out over time. I don't really want to jump in too much. Can I talk to people? No. Settings. Okay. I do want to see... Okay, can I change my... my um... Okay. This like Talents provide strong bonuses to your party. Select a talent by left-clicking it, and then left-click it to upgrade, downgrade. There are four main classes and many healer. Oh, wow, this is all detailed. I love it! This is really... I'm, I'm actually getting really into this. Okay, so we got a druid that has hots. We have a priest that has shields, and a cultist that can weaken and also attack. Interesting. 
and a paladin has powerful single target. Spells can combo to create powerful effects. Ooh. Well, I, I played as a holy paladin in WoW for a long time, but I was also a, a disc priest for quite a while. Wow, I could see... I don't really know about this one. The occultist, I'm not quite sure there is anything... Like, what would be the equivalent of that? Like, how do I just, like, see what these are? Ah. Sacrifice a talent point? So, this is making... I see. So this is making the rest of... This is this is us doing more damage. I guess I'm not quite sure. I get this. Do I get to pick one from each, or do I have to? Am I stuck choosing one class, or am I playing multiple classes? Well, if we start as a pally, what do we got? Extra heal power and makes our tank stronger. Extra max health, extra heal power, increases the effect of all single and non heal increases of all buffs, and requires you to invest before this. Hmm. Maybe I'll start with being a druid. These all seem really good. Like, I look at this and I'm thinking, hmm, I can make this work. I look at this and I'm thinking, wow, this is powerful. Well, let's get healing power, first of all. But I wish I can I edit my bars? That's the main thing I want. Here. Can I... Uh, I didn't mean to do that. One. I want to see what skill is what. Well, let's let's set it up. Oh wow, it's been a while since I've seen adventurers coming here. My name is Mutt. I came alive after the meteor crashed a hundred years ago, and I've been here ever since. The meteor itself only brings life and power to the things around it, but there are evil beings that came and twisted creatures within here. I was lucky to be in the Haven and escaped corruption. Many heroes have come to try and find and cleanse the meteor, but they all failed and died in vain. Maybe you can be the party that finally brings peace to the vault. Venture deep into the vault. There are map fragments around. Find me the fragments and I can attach them on your map. Go now. The next fragment should be in the hands of the brutal Septius, Septus in the vault entrance. Is there any way to edit my loadout? I don't want to change my talents. I want to change where my where where my skills show up in my bar. I guess not. The boss journal contains very useful information about the boss. The loot chest contains information about the unique items pool. Okay. Well, they want me to go to this one first. Boss Journal. Bone Knight. So it does 38 damage auto attacks. Doesn't heal. Attacks pretty slowly. Normal, brutal, insane. So that's something we just killed. Use it to increase the difficulty of the boss or level. Okay. So this is a gump. And it drops sword and shield.
Okay, the two ads. It's got... There's a corrupting heal which restores, restores a small amount of health to the target. Nine second cast. This guy summons a little slime that heals him. Strikes fear into the target's heart. Can be dispelled. Or decaying wind, which is a dot. Let's try it! Now, can I move these around? Like, can I put this over here? I don't, I don't seem to be able to. Okay, well, engage. Watch out for any harmful debuffs! The spell can remove some harmful effects, and it's got a yellow barrier if it can be dispelled. What's this? Taking damage every second and cannot be dispelled. Gump has summoned a minion! Click on an enemy? Okay. So I have to control the tab targeting? And this is where aggro is? And we're getting a stacking debuff. A simple sword! How do I make you equip it? Continue. Back to Heaven. Haven. You got yourself an artifact there. Visit the armory to learn more about it. Gotcha. You can equip different artifacts to my healer. Some okay, they affect the party as a whole too. So I have a sword which I'm going to equip, and that's going to make my tank and berserker deal more damage, and a shield that's going to make my tank more tanky. And there's equipment loadouts, eye level rarity. Oh my, mutated. I don't know what that is? Oh there, what's this? Map of the vault. Okay. And that's the... Okay. Oh, I love this. This is awesome. Uh, I got another talent point. Let's go ahead and get... Um, increased duration to renew. This raw heal power seems good, but... Renew seems like one of our key focus, key talents. And that's our sustain, but for now, we don't need to worry about that. Alright, next boss Solaria and Lunaria. So we got two bosses, the one in the back is less damage. No, but attacks twice as fast. So they do the same amount of damage per time. You do Sun Spear. During the daytime, this will deal extra damage as well as stunning the targets for a short duration. For two targets. Cannot be dispelled. And Flare, which can be dispelled. And is exposed, exposed for t on two targets. Linaria does Crescent Sweep, a sweep to the back line, doing ice damage. Uh, 
Place a curse on the target, dealing a moderate amount of nemesis damage over time. Nemesis? Don't know what that is yet, but we'll figure it out. So when Solaria, in daytime Solaria is stronger and Lunaria is weaker. Killing Lunaria will cause daytime to stay forever. So we want to go back and forth. I guess. There are additional environmental effects. So it's daytime. Solaria is dealing more damage, takes no damage of Lunaria's presence. In the night, she deals less damage. Takes reduced damage of Lunaria's not present. Wait a minute. Takes no damage if she's present. So we... Okay, we have to go back and forth between the two. Gotcha. Which one's not shielded? I was way overthinking that. <laughs> Ooh, epic. And a relic. Gift of the moon. Gain extra regen if the healer is at full health. Hmm. The Atlas and Hidden Haven has been unlocked. Contains information about items and runes. Where? There. Lots of information about all items in the game. You can forge artifacts here. Hmm. And different room words. Purchase a hint. Oh god. Okay. So we could buy one of these for 10 if we had it. Drop chance 20.4%. Wow, this the, the um I'm I'm shocked not by just the the mechanics of the game, but how polished it feels. Like this whole guide here with possible augmentations, possible mutations, travel directly to it, gives you a drop rate on the difficulty level by the boss. Like, this is really detailed. But I wish I could edit my, edit my bar. Next boss. Grand Magnus Ixir. So he hits harder than anyone, anything else we've seen so far. Let's just see what the artifacts. So twin elemental ring. Standing in the ring of flame increases fire damage taken and reduces ice damage taken. Standing in the ring of frost increases ice damage taken and reduces fire damage taken. So. So we want to we want to get into the fire ring if in, if there's incoming ice. So he says place a debuff on all party members that deals heavy fire when expired. Okay. Shoot out multiple ice shards dealing moderate ice damage. Make the body hard as ice. Can be negated. I don't have a negation now. 
Okay, so when Sunburst comes up, we need to get into the Ice Ring. Otherwise, we want to be in the Fire Ring. I think that makes sense. Let's try it. So, Sunburst comes up, get an Ice Ring. You can press A or D to move the healer. You can also sp press space to jump around. And I control for everybody. Okay, so I should just stand here and go back and forth as needed. Let's go. We don't need to move until that's about to wear off. Some enemies will cast powerful buffs. Unlocked negate. Negate, negate is great for removing powerful buffs on the enemy. Perfect. We're getting all this stuff. Ghost wand. Yeah, we didn't even we we got all this stuff last time and we didn't even equip it. The skill room. Okay, there we go. That's probably gonna let me move my bar around. Okay, so let me see. Um, first of all, let's go into my armory. Equip stuff. So an epic amulet. Where do these go? This is really, this the heal power is very nice. All right, so this would increases my tanks DPS. I think I'd rather have my berserker deal more damage. I don't know. 30 max health. You know, I think probably having better health across the across the board would help better. And this wand. Can I just equip it? Yeah, I can. So, f extra physical damage. And renew increases dodge chance. That's very nice. Okay. So we have two more points. Let's get this up. So now Harmony does, okay, sp Spirit Ritual I haven't gotten yet. Is that one of these? So this would give me ice damage across the board. This would give me poison attacks. is life mend, pretty much. I'm thinking maybe get this, like it seems like it's, it's useful. We need to start thinking about doing damage. All right, welcome to the skills room. Bring the right skills and develop is the key to success. You will also find angelic crystals throughout your crystals. You can use those to upgrade your skills. Nice. So I have a lot of skills that I didn't use before. Okay, yeah, and these were just not of not accessible to me. Right, let's clear our bar. Come on, clear the bar. Clear the bar. 
cannot be removed. Okay. Um, I need a, a better layout. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Let's make these. Uh, Q, W, E. Maybe start here. Q, W, E, R. I like that. So Q, W, E, R, one, two, three, four. We can make that work. So I'm going to put my Dispel on one, my Purge on four. Our Druid spell is Spirit Ritual. It's a heal over time. It heals the target at the end. The overtime base healing is 26 per second. Stacks up to a maximum of three times. It's very much life mend. Requires four points invested, so we just got access to it. Like, we can't even do Holy Shield because we don't have enough priest talents. This is interesting. Place a curse on the enemy and dealing damage and healing the currently selected character. So, it's a... It's, you know, it's it's a leech. And Paladin have... They give you um, physical resistance. Tank healing. Oh, well. Okay, let's see. So, we have Spirit Ritual. What's the cooldown? Instacast, one second cooldown. How is that? How is this? How does the cost compare? It's about the same as a lesser heal. And this does 134. This does 26 per second for five seconds. So about the same. Rejuvenate. That's our mana restore. Flash heal. That's the, the default pally heal. <laughs> so this heals 39 per second compared to this, which heals 36 per second per stack. We should mostly be healing with Spirit Ritual and then renew on the tank, probably. This lasts 11 seconds, that's nice. But it's a long cooldown, we can't spam it. Heals all party members for a moderate amount, let's put that there. And I guess... Do I care about flash heal? This is 75, this is 45. Let's just take lesser heal. Okay. I don't have a three yet. I want to, I need like a, a cooldown for that. All right. All right, so Sepetus. So mana void, mana regeneration is zero and maximum mana is reduced. Attacking the crystal will regain a small bit of mana, but healing all other enemies by a small amount. So it's an efficiency thing. Summons a crystal. The crystal will die when all other enemies die. A furious blow to multiple targets. Three targets at once and a bleed, which is dispellable. The crystal burns spirit in the area, removing healers, man. Okay, so I have to dodge this. I can actually dodge the crystal. Okay. We can try it.
Why has he got a shield on him? Immune to damage? You have 70% attack on the crystal, restores mana, attack the crystal will heal all their enemies. But you got a shield on you, how do I... I gotta wait for him to... I don't know. Well, try it. Just go, go for the, go for him. There we go. <laughs> wow, we're getting like all this cool stuff. Peace song, unique bow. Ranger's attack increases heal power for 10 seconds. Stacks up to 10 times. But lose all stacks when you or any part of them cast a spell. No, oh, that's not that good. Let's keep going. Oh yeah, we're done, so we have to go back to the vault. Yeah. It should be in the oh, in the hands of the brutal Sep Sepitus. I gotcha. So now we have to go back and fight these guys on a uh, harder difficulty. This is level 8. Let's give it a try. Uh, actually, I never looked at this guy's abilities. So does he have anything else? He has a slam, a bleed. No. Oh my. Simple enough. Here, we'll just keep going until we like, get into trouble, and then we'll come back and we'll mess with gear and stuff. So, do you change between, like, do you get different things? Yeah, you do, you get the extra abilities. Twin summons. So, kill slimes first. That's the deal.
This is so epic. I'm I'm I'm, I'm loving this so much. <laughs> I, I, I'm embarrassed about how much I'm enjoying this. But I don't I don't I don't have a lot to say when I'm doing the healing. It's just you gotta do the healing. All right, continue. And congratulations on reaching level 10. You will now earn mastery experience after every battle based on how many points you've invested into the class tree. Each mastery level will grant you a mastery point. Mastery points can be used to improve talents even more. Talent mastery level will only activate based on current level of the talents. Let's go take a look at that, actually. So that's what the mastery does. Okay. Now we're getting mastery points. Which are... I don't know. Are they, like, permanent? Like, I don't have any points here. So... It feels like they're permanent and I can switch around between them, but we'll see. What should I upgrade? Why don't we see if we can get some um, mana restore? No, can I? How do I go down? I only need to get 12 points. Just flat out heal power seems really good. We just. More than this plus person. Plus um, effects. Alright, what do we have the next talent? We have him. Reduces mana costs. Gives you fire and ice resist. Gain an aura that gives me attack speed and dodge. Reduces maximum mana by 7%. Mm. Flourish. All party members' health get. We all get passive health. That's nice. And improves nature's gift. Which I don't have yet. This would give the tank make the tank tankier and the ranger a bit rangerier. I think we do need to invest in our other play other the rest of our team, so let's put some points into them. And then for mastery. This flat tank health might be good. Oh, it requires 12 mastery points. Okay, never mind. We need to uh, upgrade these first, I guess. More heal power, then, please. And did we get any new skills? Yeah, we got Nature's Gift. So it's a AoE dot. And how's that compared to our Radiant Heal? 115 can crit. This is a 6 seconds, 85. Well, we should just, you know, commit to being a, a druid for now what is this places a spirit orb on the target which explodes 
upon the target taking damage. Oh, I love it! That's, um, it's Prayer of Mending. I don't really, it doesn't really fit on a three though. I think I might just want to get rid of this heal over time, this, this flat heal as, you know, something we shouldn't be using. And instead we'll put that there. I'm looking at that icon much differently than they expect me to be. All right. Oh, let's look at our gear. Epic hammer. Here. So a great shield. A good bow. A really good armor. Whenever you cast a spell, there's a chance to haunt the current enemy, making it deal less damage. It's not bad. I think I'll take that instead of this. Favorite artifacts will not be included in Cello. I love it, you know? It's, it's, it's great. What are non-perfect? I don't know yet. I guess we'll find out. Alright, so these people, did they gain anything new? Doesn't look like it. Just have to do the same thing, but harder. No, I'm I'm not doing it right. I'm getting distracted. Focus too much on the healing. Too busy watching my health bars. Not the best time on that one, but that's okay. Orb of toughness. Or, or. So the first time I got an or. So you can craft things. All right, so your deal, well, you're the one where we had to walk back and forth between uh, the elemental rings and between normal and brutal, you gain a frost burst. So when we get frost burst, get ready to go into fire ring, everlasting flame, which can be not be dispelled. Uh, do we just want to be in the fire thing? Except for as long as this... Except for this getting harder and harder to deal with this. Because basically we can just sit in the fire thing and never have to worry about these two. And then just heal up past the everlasting flame. Let's see how bad it is.
It's not that bad. It's pretty light damage. Maybe I should be playing on a hard. Oh well. We'll eventually, you know, run into our our proper difficulty. Keep going. Just because, you know, each each time the difficulty level goes up. So, what's your story? So you're the mana void one, yeah. Nothing's changing about you. Except for you get crystallized. So you make it so while while the crystals are up, this guy's gonna get stronger. But it's not purgeable. Okay. Not bad. I do apologize for not talking very much. I'm just, you know, I'm focused. I'm very focused. There we go. Map fragment to the soul quarter. And an epic ring. 10% chance to gain mana after casting a spell. Wow. All these sound so amazing. Good job, Soul Quarter should now should be unlocked now on your map. I know Insane Sep Sepatus also drops a Mag fra Fragment as well. Defeat him and bring the Map Fragment back to me. I also know a secret place in the Vault. When you are stronger, come back to me. I'll give you a Map Fragment. Reach level 33 and defeat the Insane One. Blessed Helm? Ring of Influence level. What's Ring of Influence? It's a Paladin skill. Okay. Like, how can I see the eye level? Level 16 for our next spell. More talent points. And so many master points. You can get Eclipse just to get some more damage going.
That mas the two point mastery plus sixteen party ice damage. That sounds pretty cool. What is my heal? Um, hmm. I'm like comparing the. Hmm. Let's go for more ranger damage. And master it. Mm. We're getting a lot of healing from Spirit Ritual. Like that's that's pretty much we're using Renew on the tank and Spirit Ritual and everyone else. The whole receive increases healing received doesn't really benefit me that much, but just increasing effect and heal power. I like it. What's this new stuff? So shade, if a party member is not taking damage, they gain the shade effect, which gives them flat restore okay typhoon a storm will occasionally spawn slowing enemies attack speed so it seems like we're really focused on doing ice damage and poison damage regen aura Reduce maximum. So this is like passive. This passive healing. Blessing of the forest. Plus 70 heal power. Wow. And every 6 seconds all party members are healed. Yeah. I mean. Here's what I'm. Wait a minute. So can I take that out? Yeah I can. Can I take all these out freely? I can. So if I put if I put it in one, I get seventy. If I put it in two, I can't take out. I can't get a second one yet. I'm not putting many stacks up though. That's not really a thing that I do. I mean, just getting flat heal power seems like it might be the best, easiest way to deal with it. Yeah, can we go back to this and do the first boss on Insane? Level 16? Oh, I lost somebody. Ranger! You just stood in the AoE, didn't you? I guess I kind of kited it onto them. I'm sorry.
Guys, can you finish this boss fight, please? I'm dead. Come on, guys, you can do it. Try again. I just didn't need to not kill the ranger. That's better. And we got a nice nifty little sword. I guess go back to Haven. Okay, I think that's enough for a quick look at this game. This game is great. This is awesome. This feels like it's all the fun of raiding and um, dungeon healing, but without having to deal with other people. <laughs> Which is a terrible way of putting it, but this is probably the best implementation of MMO healing I have ever seen in a single player game. It, it feels really good. But um, I'm not sure I like the whole idea of me being the one that's in charge of like choosing which target to hit, but it seems like that hasn't been a big deal so far. Anyway. Thank you for watching. Till next time.